Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to flip the main breaker on the home and we're having Thanksgiving Day dinner today. It's November 5th, it's a little early. The Bills are playing the Jets tomorrow, just for a reference. Bills are six and one, gotta take the Jets down. But in this video, what I'm gonna do is flip the main breaker, shut the power down to the home. We are only going to run off power walls, and solar panels today. And we're gonna see if anybody knows that we've been off grid uh, this entire dinner. Everything is running, everything is being used. Nothing is gonna get shut down today. So here we go. Let's flip the main breaker and let's see if anybody realizes it today. And if we can get through a full Thanksgiving day dinner, just off Tesla power walls and sun power panels on the roof in three, two, one. Cool, so we're fully um, shut down from grid power right now. Just to give you a little reference for today, it is November 5th. It's gonna be 74 degrees outside today. Right now, got some good sun on the roof. The last time I checked, we were producing about 10.5 kW of power coming off the roof. So we might not even have to rely on those batteries a lot. Obviously, we're gonna need them for the microgrid connection to keep everything running on the roof, but We'll keep it going. It's a beautiful day today. So something that just happened that I've been meaning to make a video about for a little bit is when you shut the, when the main breaker shuts off and you're running off solar and battery and someone commented about this in my last video, they said, Hey, you just, when I was doing the span versus um, Tesla app and showing how you could make the batteries last longer on the span, someone commented, Hey, you just went through that video and the solar never kicked back on. You were only running off the batteries. And the reason being, the reason the solar never didn't kick back on in that video is because the batteries were at 100%. So if the solar kicked on, there's nowhere for that solar to go. So it's being regulated. So right now the solar did just kick back on. The batteries dropped down to 97% and the solar kicked back on and now replenishing the batteries to keep them uh, topped off. So that's just something good to know, not to be alarmed about when the main breaker shuts off and the solar doesn't kick on right away, the battery's got to deplete a little bit because where's the solar going to go if the batteries are fully charged? This is my brother-in-law, Angelo. Angelo, there's something going on today that I want to bring you in on before anybody else knows. Oh, Federico's goes in there? All right, we got to go attend to the baby. Federico wants to go too. Okay, let's that see. That door is wide open. I opened it. It was getting too hot. Federico, do you want to know an inside secret? Yeah, let us know. All right, so Angelo, today I shut all the power coming into the house today. Oh no. So we're running just off solar and battery, batteries, Federico. You understand? So Angelo, we're not gonna tell anybody today. We're gonna try to get through a full Thanksgiving day dinner just running off solar and batteries. Okay, you up to it, Federico? I think he's up to it. How do you feel about it, Ange? No, I'm up to it too, right Federico? Will we consume all the energy in the battery for the eco? Let's go turn all the lights on. So that's the whole concept of this video is just to run everything and not worry about it. And just, hey, Thanksgiving day dinner was happening. We lost power from the grid and we were able to keep everything going. You got it, Fed? He's got it. Hey, B, I don't think anybody noticed that we're running off batteries, right? Everybody's here. No one even has an idea. We're doing good. All right, guys. So we had a pretty amazing Thanksgiving. The family, little baby Federico, everybody enjoyed it. And here it is. It's 7 p.m. at night and I have 83% remaining on our battery. We started at 100%, right now we're at 83%, and nobody knew today that this entire dinner was powered strictly off sunshine, Tesla storage, sun power panels. So 
I just wanted to give you a little breakdown of our energy usage throughout the day. So I'll go to, I'm gonna share my Tesla app screen, so I'll put it up on the screen over here. And this is our energy profile throughout the day. So, yes, I know that. So I just had to reset my Tesla password. That's why that was glitchy right there. But um, so today, solar wise, we produce 33.1 kW. And I just wanna show you something. You see the way this bell curve look like, looks like a jagged, almost like a sawtooth. Look at yesterday. It's like a perfect bell curve from morning, afternoon, until night. And then look at today. It's up, it's down, it's up, it's down, it's up, it's down. Why is that? That's because we were in off-grid mode. So in that perfect bell curve, that power was being consumed by the home and also being sent back to the grid. When you're in off-grid mode, the power is only getting sent to the batteries or to the home, and if there's excess, it's shutting the solar down. So you could see that throughout the day when it's shutting the solar down. And you could see right here, power right now, the solar shut off around 525 tonight, and we've been running off batteries that entire time uh, for the past two hours. And then you can go in the home's consumption, and here you could see the different spikes that we had at different times. So um, at 10.50, 11 o'clock, we weren't in off-grid mode yet. We were still tied to the grid. And then I think it was around 12 this afternoon, between 12 and 1, we went in off-grid mode. And in that time period, you could see 2 o'clock, 7.7 kW instant power we were pulling from the batteries. That was our spike. And then the rest of the day, we're at roughly 2.3 uh, KW in different different points of the day. So really nothing more than that 8.4 KW spike that we had. Um, and that was at, uh, what time was that at? That was at uh, two o'clock. So it was pretty cool to go through this exercise today. And then this is our power wall discharge. So you could see here, this is where the battery was getting filled up this morning. It was just getting topped off. Um, here, pulled a little from the batteries. And then right here, when I flipped the breaker at one o'clock, pulling from the batteries, and you could see when it's going down, that's when the solar was charging the batteries back up. And that's why you had those sawtooths going up and down on our solar chart. And you could see how that correlates to the sun to the Tesla Powerwall's discharging as well as charging. And then here you could see from really 345 on when the solar wasn't producing enough to supply the house, that's really when the batteries took over. So even though we flipped the main breaker at two o'clock, the solar was really handling all of our power needs throughout the day, bouncing off the battery here and there. And then right when four o'clock hit, that's when we were really all on the, the power walls consistently. So pretty cool. I love doing little tests and exercises like this. I love to stress the batteries out in real world conditions. A lot of our customers ask us, hey, I'm interested in the Enphase Ensemble. I'm interested in the LG Chem batteries. I'm interested in Sonin. We've installed Sonin batteries. We've installed Tesla batteries. We haven't done the other ones yet. And really the reason I haven't done the other ones yet is just because they're newer and I like to install things that are like ironclad. And I would love to see you guys, if you could link other videos of people who run tests like this on other systems, I would love to see it. I would love to see other manufacturers that um, other homeowners or solar installers have run tests on of going off grid mode with their end phase battery system for four days at a time. So. Um, always interested in stuff like this, but just these batteries with the sun coupled with the sun power panels, I just haven't found anything that was ironclad than both of these. Um, cool. Signing out. Happy Thanksgiving. Upcoming Thanksgiving to everyone. Headed to the Bills game tomorrow. Let's beat the Jets and uh, go Bills.